some diamond action happening now. Dr. Osan is with us again, this time with the English. Against his opponent in the color blue playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. Very good matchup for English, depending on how you play it. Usually you're in a very good spot. Like if Abbasid wants to go to TC, you can go to TC King. And even skip the White Tower. You can even go for the King's Palace just to catch up with the Abbasid. If you decide to do a field push, it's very good for English. They are very good at that. So it's it's a really rough matchup for Abbasid. It's a really rough one. But there are, there are multiple ways to play this one. Uh, but definitely, from the Abbasid perspective, the hardest situation is when the English is all in. If you you know just play the economic game it's just gonna get harder for it's just gonna get hard, harder for the english now camus has been having an interesting evolution like, camels have been buff a little bit camel archers specifically but now i've seen people going only camels and they are really strong. They are very, very strong. They they are really hard to mask. So you cannot have many of them. So it feels like if you are a really good player, you can get away with that. Just because you, you need to micro weld your camel archers. Otherwise, you're just going to lose them. And they are a very expensive unit. But if you manage to, you know, keep them alive. I feel like it's almost unstoppable. And there are some situations where people have been going, you know, economic wing, 2TC, whatever, and they go Camel Archers. And when they transition to Castle Age, they don't go for the military wing. They actually go for culture wing because they are not building any infantry. They're just going Camels. And what do you do with the military wing when you're in Castle and you're not building either a Spearman or Man at Arms or Archers? Like, there's really no point for you for going that military win if you're going for for a camel only build. Now I don't I don't really feel I, I don't know if we're gonna see that. But yeah, like going horseman and arch camel archers is it's a really good combo. Just because horsemen can really tank the damage here. Uh, you need a front line for sure, otherwise your camels are really like, a really squishy. You, you need those horsemen. It's a very good combo. And then you can use those stable to actually make some camel riders. Which are really good. So, camel only. Big fan of it. Big fan. Hard to execute. But if it works, it works very, very well. I actually saw that it actually works quite well against Order of the Dragon. Just because their units are so strong, you also need a very strong unit. And if you go like Spearman, Crossbowman, whatever, like, it's just gonna feel very uneven fight. So, having all those camels that have so much HP actually can work very, very well for, uh, for Abbasid against Order of the Dragon. So it looks like Dr. Ozan is gonna it's gonna go for a 2TC build. Same for the Abbasid player. I don't know how to read this. It's like the first one, I don't know. It's like the letter of a car. A fish. Carfish. This is not car, obviously, but it has a component. Uh, this this one is fish, so it's called the fish guy. He's even in blue, so. It actually reminds me of my hometown, all the all the fishing restaurants, all, all the seafood restaurants will have the blue color. I don't like a signature color for this. Makes sense, makes sense. So the question is, how many TCs is it actually Abbasid going for? It's going to be three, because in this situation, I think three TCs is the way to go. You can build 
want to see right away. You can tell that he's waiting. He's waiting for that wood. It's gonna be here at the back. Not a big fan of this one. You can put it here at the front and get secure the stone for another TC just because the king is coming. Because the, the king is gonna arrive soon. You're gonna get denied the third TC unless you build more spearmen. And there you're gonna fall behind. Alright, so selfish. Beautiful. Selfish. So if you build it here, not only it's a little bit far away, I like that he like he protects the wood line and the gold vein. Same might protect the gold vein. It's not fully protecting it. So it's a really rough one. I feel like the king can get a lot of value in this situation. And obviously, Dr. Oz, I'm putting the TC next to the gold. It's gonna be putting a thing on gold. Oh my god. Just to catch up with the upgrades. He doesn't have any single upgrade. There you go. I'm gonna be going there for the wood. For a nice farm transition. Meanwhile, Avacid playing in an equal town center situation. Now, obviously, Avacid do have the... The extra food advantage. Their villagers are cheaper. So... I think... The steel is not an equal situation. But still, English has a has a king. And can potentially go for the white tower, which will make your units pretty much useless in the castellation when you don't have a big mass of units. Making the English unraidable. While there are no static defenses for Abbasid. Like a lot of people say like the Abbasid is just like the new English double blacksmith. That man, that's wild. That is wild. I, I don't feel like it's the new English because Abbasid lacks a lot of static defenses. Like the Kremlin, the White Tower, you know, the Barbican. It, it's just really good to have as a defensive civilization. Abbasid just you just rely on on your skill to survive from playing defensively. And looks like Dr. Osna is gonna grab a villager here. Will he grab the kill? Looks like he's gonna get away with it, but fair enough. That's that's enough damage. Stable coming soon. And looks like Dr. Olsen is just gonna be having a gonna be having a blast here. Gonna be having a farm build simulation. That's gonna be worrying about the food for for the time being. And he only needs to harass here and there. Meanwhile. Abbasid already going there with the early farms. He still have plenty of sheep he can use. And looks like the knight will just get away with that. Horsemen are already out for the Abbasid. And this is a fight you, you can take any any time of the day. Just because even if you get damage against the, the king, you can run away. And you can just heal. But those, those horsemen won't heal, so every time you will come back a little bit stronger. One of the best units in the game. And definitely the king. The pink king. <laughs> Almost looks like a like a cartoon if you think about it. Like one of those shows from Cartoon Network. When you, you see that, it, it's so rare to see this kind of this kind of unit in a in a pink color if you think about it. I never thought about it, but the first time I see it, even the horseman has some shoes. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Meanwhile, farm bill also there for the Abbasid. So far, both players doing a good job at keeping the villager production going on. It does happen, even in the Diamond League, that you forget to produce villagers. But obviously happens less often than in the Platinum League, so... They are both doing fine. Look at the the, the king. It's got to be a coward here. Going to be entering into the town center. Horseman. Going to go for harassment here. <laughs> Look who you miss is the king. There you go. He's going to be healing. He actually can heal double here, I think. And white tower. In a very forward position. But the king is ready ready to take down this horseman any time of the day and the Abbasid don't have any unit to deal with that 
Now our softfish is actually thinking about going castle H himself. A little bit of a macro macro problems here. Still lacks half of the gold. Here we have plenty of units on the gold, so what the hell? Okay, I didn't expect this. <laughs> what the hell? The guy's trading. Oh my god. I love it. Hey, he's not only trading. He's trading to both sides. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so English are ready in Castle Age. Ready to build some bar some barracks. Thinking about that mana arms that they are they are fearsome. They are fearsome for the English. They they do have extra range and melee armor, so they are, they are really good. They are really good, especially against Abbasid. If he doesn't go any camel archer, then he's he's gonna be having a Good time with those mana arms. Camel archers will melt mana arms, especially in good numbers. There's nothing you can do about it. These guys are really slow, and camel archers are really fast. It's funny how I've been talking about camel archers the whole time, but there ha haven't been any camel from the Abbasid so far. But we do have trader. We have trading guys. This is a guy that firmly believe that you cannot put all the eggs in one basket not gonna trust the TCs you gotta diversify diversify your portfolio and he's doing that with trade and he's even doing even even it more with double trade pause here amazing amazing stuff military win already there for the Abbasid have plenty of production buildings are already there with seven production buildings. Meanwhile, the English is gonna be having the farm simulation. We'll be building also quite a lot of production buildings here on the back. This is pretty much an unraidable base. White Tower protecting pretty much this. Town centers protecting the back. And there we go. We're gonna have some action. The English pink. The English. The, is it the English? I was gonna say the English king. I said the English pink. I, I cannot cannot be unseen. It really cannot be unseen. Kind of like, uh, you know what? What's the name of this show? I don't know the name in English. It's the the guy with the pink hat and has the. Like the... What's the name of, of this? Like the wizards that do the, all the wishes for him? I have like Cosmo and Wanda. I, I feel like this is Wanda just turning to a king. That's right. That, that's what it is now at this point. That, that's what it is. Meanwhile, a couple of horsemen here just to harass the enemy. And Abbasid... With not so many farms at, the, at this point in the game. Not so many units, but he's going to have some golems here. Which, they don't do really bad against English mana arms, but you need to consider there's also crossbows on the mix. Dr. Osan, a little bit afraid to enter the Abbasid territory. Looks like... He's going to just try to get in with those, with those units. Now, keep in mind... No monastery for both players. No monastery yet. Relics are there to be grabbed by anyone here. Such a peaceful game. Meanwhile, more upgrades going for the Abbasid. I'm gonna take a look at the income per minute. Now, remember, food got nerfed. So, the food per minute. It's just now, instead of 15, uh, they are getting actually like 10% 10, 10 increase for each upgrade. They are, you're not getting 15, 15%. 15%. 
So that's one thing to consider. Bring all the English. Having the time of his life. I wouldn't be surprised if you, you actually go Imperial at this point. I mean, like, why not? That's a big wall. That's a big wall. I mean, well, the Abbas, it's, it's, he's just trading. He's not behind economically. Builder not gonna be finishing the big task. Wall gonna remain unfinished. At the same time, Horseman go for a raid. Managed to get the first villager of the game, finally. But unfortunately, this raiding force not gonna be not gonna be that intimidating for now. And now Abbasid going there with quite some camels, some gulams, plenty of crossbows, forcing Dr. Osan to pull back for now. It's like it's not a good time to visit the Abbasid. Not a good time. Not today, my friend. Meanwhile, no monastery for both players. Look at this base. It's just beautiful. Like, even if you manage to get like the in a position like this, like, what can you do against a white tower? Like, you can attack here, yeah, right? And you, you still have this area you can attack. You, I, it will be a big mistake to to actually go in this area. You're just not going to have a good fight. It's not only about the White Tower. It also has like... A, you have the network of castles. 20% attack speed to all those units. Looks like Dr. Osan is going gonna, is gonna to be switching for the Lombos. Meanwhile, a ram already here. Mangonel as well. He has a siege workshop. Oh, he does have it. No grease axles yet. Looks like he's gonna be trying to take down the White Tower. And that's a risky move. You need a lot of battering rams. Uh, a lot of faith. A lot of range armor, which you don't have a lot. You only have one. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a tough one. I would love Mr. Softfish to actually go here in the back and do some damage. Because that's where Dr. Osan has the less advantage when defending. It looks like he's gonna hit Imperial really soon. And that's just gonna overcomplicate things for the Abbasid. Because while it's easy. I think it's easier for, for the English to go Imperial. Because as soon as they reach Imperial, they can get the enclosures and they can get instant benefits for it. Meanwhile, the Abbasid don't have many incentives to rush Imperial. Although he does have 110 villagers. Food economy, not the best for him at the moment. Looks like he's going to go for the back of the base. Definitely the right move. Gotta be taking a house first. Gonna be quite annoying. Plus two range armor coming at the same time for the Abbasid. Now remember, Mangonos do extra damage now against buildings. Now there's a very good choke point for, for the Abbasid. Crossbow's doing plenty of damage and Mangonel is going to be able to do plenty of shots here. I'm not going to be able to reach the crossbow man here. Now looks like Sawfish is losing the, the front line. The front line is over for the front fish, meaning these crossbows are going to be the target next. And you're dealing about cr better crossbows that have extra attack speed. So you just can't fight the English at, at this point. Nice mangonel shot. Will have been beautiful one minute ago. Another beautiful mangonel shot, but only, only to a couple of units. Um, I think this is where, where Dr. Oz, Ozan actually, it's it's his moment to shine. He lost quite a lot of foot by building reinforcements. He's building actually quite a lot of horsemen. Let's take a look at how, mon, how much production he has. He still has pretty, pretty, pretty decent production at this point in the game. Meanwhile, the Abbasid 
not so many farms at this point. You really want to go for farms because you do have the upgrade for the extra, extra farm gathering rate. So you really have more incentive to go for farms as the Abbasid. Just like the English, you know? Like, you, you get more benefits for going farms than gathering the resources outside of your base. But, you know, definitely the foot nerf was definitely a nerf for not only all the civilizations, but especially for the Abbasid. It's like Siege Workshop gonna get detected here. And Dr. Osan, a raider with quite a big army. Now it's time for payback. Now the good thing is Dr. Osan, it's almost hitting Imperial. Now, the, the thing is you don't want to lose momentum. So you, you may want to attack now. You, you might as well sell some gold, save some food and go Imperial and upgrade these units. You have a decent army, 86 military units. It's uh, it's not a bad amount. Meanwhile, there are not enough defenses here. That's a lot of crossbows. But Dr. Ozan has a lot of horsemen as well. He did a... That's one thing he, he did very good. He was not faxi faxated for... Is that faxated? Fixated? Uh, for going just mana arms. He's like, you know what? I'm actually going horsemen now. I, he just does a switcheroo. Classic Ronaldinho move. Oh my god, four mangonels here. Now let's see how the mangonels do against this. Because there's plenty of lombos, plenty of crossbows. But there's also the potential threat for the horseman here. And the horseman can snipe the mangonels. So you need to keep them really tight. Very close to each other. Mangonel shot. 8, 3, 2, 1. Misses the shot. Only like 4 Mangonels. The, yield, the last bastion of defense for the Abbasid. Looks, looks like Dr. Osan said. They told me Sish was nerfed. What the hell is going on here? Why does my opponent have 4 Mangonels? I, I'm going back. I, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this for sure. It looks like now it's time for the Abbasid for the payback. At the same time, Berkshire. Building somewhere in the map. Here, next to the big gold thing. Gonna be securing the gold for the future. Meanwhile, English. Fighting without the network of castles buff. You never, you never fight, wanna fight with the English. Unless you want to have a huge advantage, you always want to have your buff. Almost always, like you, you want to have that buff here. Even while the front line for the Abbasid is gone, crossbow man, gonna be serving as the front line. Mangonel just attacking the wrong, or the wrong unit so far. Speedman and Horseman trying to sneak their way into those Mangonels, but looks like Abbasid managed to defend well. No Bangonel went down so far. Meanwhile, the double trait. The double trait strat. But was not enough for Sawfish to actually go to Imperial as well. <laughs> Still, the English went to Imperial faster. Now the problem with Dr. Osan is like he's he's an Imperial Age, but he doesn't have gold for the upgrades. First you wanna think you, you wanna get this upgrade first, enclosures right away. Otherwise, like that that's that thing is just amazing. The sooner you get it, the faster it pays off. And Abbasid with a forward keep with 6,000 gold in the bank. Now, I wouldn't say this strategy didn't work. Like, it, it it would have worked if he had to spend the resources. And now he's going for the trade wing. These mangonels have been... So far... I already paid themselves at this point. 
Looks like this skip will be finished. Have a seat with plenty of gold. Now, well, that, that's a mistake, but... You know, there's still quite a lot of... Quite a lot of upgrades you... you quite a lot of upgrades you, you can get in Imperial Age. You're gonna use that gold very quickly. So, I, I wouldn't mind that. Meanwhile... Villagers. No textiles. We're gonna be going down in, in a matter of seconds. Mangonels showing off their new damage against buildings. And Dr. Osnan. Dr. Osnan with a little bit of a... A little bit, a little bit of an issue here. Is that a villager pool? Are you can do the villager pool? When you have... When you have the public libraries. You're gonna do a villager pool like this with the Abbasid. Just gonna go down so fast. Meanwhile, Mangonil's steam paying off. I don't... <laughs> this is crazy, man. I don't think villagers are the right unit to take down the White Tower. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's that's the way to do it. And so far, the Abbasid has established himself very well here with the Siege Workshops. Trade wing coming in one second. And plenty of gold for the Abbasid, but not enough other resources to actually get any upgrade. Looks like the White Tower will go down. Already halfway there. Rebold the Queen Cops here to save the day. Managed to do a shot before going down. Oh my god. I almost forgot the siege gets damage from the buildings. And I think the keep was attacking the Rebold the Queen. I'm not super sure. <laughs> but it... Easy comes, easy goes. Rebold the Queen went down. White Tower gonna go down for sure. Mangonos. Not attacking the White Tower. They are afraid of success. Meanwhile, Elite Spearman coming for the Abbasid. It it hurts to see the Abbasid with 1.5k foot a minute at this point in the game. It really hurts. Meanwhile, boiling oil. Working really well for the Abbasid. Softfish. Letting Dr. Osan know that he's not soft. Meanwhile, Bombard coming for Dr. Osan. White Tower. Still alive. Despite the Abbasid efforts to take it down. I wouldn't mind going for Chebuchet at this point. They're a really good unit, especially with all the sprinkles. What are the traders doing here? Oh my god. Oh, you gotta be careful with this bombard. Villagers. Gonna repair the bombard. No problem. That's the beauty of no sprinkles. That's an interesting choke point. That's definitely an interesting choke point. But looks like Dr. Osan will be able to take down the siege here. Keep slow but steady going down. Meanwhile, elite golems for the Abbasid. Gonna be taking down Dr. Osan units. Now, Dr. Osan has 140 mil uh, economic build, economic units. It is true that the Abbasid don't really need the gold at, the, at this moment because he has a trade, but he doesn't have many traders. You're, you're not at that point in the game where you can ignore the gold veins. Food is not really in the Abbasid favor. Dr. Osan already have the right unit to deal with this. A trebuchet. And finally, getting enclosures. The most valuable upgrade for the English just arriving. Now keep in mind, we're 29 minutes into the game. No player have got any relic so far. Missed opportunity.
You got your skip. Pull to repair. Repair the keep. And at this point, how do you win the game as Dr. Austin? Because you do have quite a lot of units here. You have 60 military units. Trebuchet is slow but steady. Taking down the keep. No upgrade for geometry. For the English. So this Trebuchet is not going to be doing quite a lot of damage. Meanwhile, more Gulams going for the Abbasid. And Canoneers joining the party as well. Camel support coming as well. Except for a fact that there is no Camel. So there you go. Some Camel archers are coming. And Dr. Osan. Gonna go through the back door. Says, I'm not fighting there. I'm just gonna go there. And kill the trade. Which is not a big deal. But now that Softfish knows that Dr. Osan is in the back, he's gonna go there and take the White Tower. Will Dr. Osan go back and defend his tower? Or is he gonna do a villager pull? He's, he's grabbing everyone here. Now, keep in mind, Abbasid only have two landmarks. House of Wisdom and the Town Center. And meanwhile, Abbasid. White Tower finally going down after 31 minutes into the game. But uh, Dr. Osan. No textiles whatsoever. It's just going there with all the villagers. Go there with everyone. No, the thing is, there is no military unit here for, for the Abbasid. <laughs> oh my god. He's pulling back. He's pulling back some, some golems. Villagers taking down. Villagers against golems. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Meanwhile, Abbasid. Trying to do the same. I'm gonna snipe this landmark. The problem is, does he know where is the Berkshire? I believe he knows. House of Wisdom. Halfway there. Villagers. Not really doing their work. House of Wisdom. Half HP. There's still 50 villagers somewhere. There you go. I don't know where they're coming from. But slow but steady. House of Wisdom going down. Dr. Osan losing the town center. But the problem is, who's gonna deal with the bird shark here? He's very far from it. And this is only infantry. And the siege is slow. House of Wisdom going down. Villagers fighting with arrows. And with that, the House of Wisdom goes down and only the town center is left. With that, the Golden Age is over. And that also means buildings don't have extra fire armor. And the town center will go extra fast. Abbasid pulling his air at this point in the game. He's thinking, what the hell happened here? Oh my god. And with that, conquest victory for our pink English. Oh my god. Beautiful game. A beautiful game. Oh my god. I can't believe it.